Is that a cozy spot, Valentine? <laughs> Mostly not disturbed. Golden raspberries, royal raspberries, blackberry, blackberry, and blackberry. This one, these two here were uh, mostly killed off by rabbits in the fall before I got it fenced off. So now they're safe and they're doing great. This one's coming up nicely. Gotta put some more mulch in there, but otherwise all is well. Got one harvest of rhubarb already. There were a lot of really nice big ones in here, so they did good. Some chives for my, mostly use those for my cheese. They're doing well. Asparagus, as you can see, I've already got one um, harvest and there's more coming up. It's some parsley. And obviously, I spent most of today working on this, getting it weeded. This year, uh, over here will be tomatoes. I haven't got them out yet. And these guys, I've got one, two, three, uh, what are they? Cantaloupe. And one, two, three, four, watermelon. This is a um, sunflower. This is a pink blueberry. This is the regular blueberry. And this is another golden raspberry. And this is just a regular raspberry. So yeah, our gardener's doing really well. Chickens, we have our vines. This one is dead. Um, I noticed that at the base of it, it looks like it actually rotted in here, which is weird because it's well above the dirt line where it rotted. So I don't know how that happened, but it is completely dead. Like there's nothing. There's nothing on the vine. But the other three, one, two, three, are all doing great. Flowering, or I guess bring, putting leaves on. All of them are doing it, which is perfect. Gives my chickens some shade in the summer too, which is ideal for them. Apple tree is flowering beautifully. It's doing great. I'm not sure if we'll get pears this year, but it is very, very happy. I'm very tall. <laughs> Yeah, it looks really Our good. cherry bush. Again, I'm not sure if we'll get fruit off of it this year. Last year, it had a really hard time. I had to really fight for it to survive because it was being farmed by ants and aphids. So that was awkward. This is our little peach tree. You can see it already has flowered and the flowers have all died off now. So hopefully it will produce some nice fruit for us this year. I think we managed to eat one peach last year. It tried to produce a whole lot, but most of them got eaten or just uh, fell off. And last but not least, this is our latest addition. It's a toka plum tree. And as you can see, it's flowering, which is so exciting for its first year. Like it's only been here like less than a month, I think. And it's nice big tree already. So yeah, hopefully that goes nicely window boxes. We got spinach, uh, parsley. I think this is cilantro. Yeah, cilantro. There's the tag. <laughs> and here is the live stock of, um, can't think of it. Oh yeah, rosemary. That's live rosemary. That's the dead rosemary. For here we got more parsley. Got some tiny Tim tomatoes that are starting to flower nicely. This is basil, smells so good. More parsley. This was mint that didn't come back, bad mint. And some flowers. This is our sage. And a little thyme plant. Strawberry plants. It's doing pretty good. Working on some flowers. This one has quite a few coming. And over here, some strawberry flowers. That's a new strawberry plant. 
that is coming along okay. That one got a little bit eaten by Katana for whatever reason. She thought it would be a good idea to eat it. So you can see most of it's chewed off, but it's coming back. More leaves are coming. And then over here is some um, more thyme. And this is actually a curry plant, which I don't know why my husband wanted it, but we have it now. And Swiss chard. It's looking really nice. Almost ready to eat. And these are chives. Pretty flowers starting to come out. I use a lot of chives for my cheese. I've got a few plants out back, but I decided to bring at least one up here that uh, it can grow and do well. And I won't have to go back every time I want to make cheese. Uh, yeah, there's lots of little ones coming up. This is oregano. So these are all the little oregano babies. Little tiny ones. More flowers my son planted. And uh, there's also a bunch of weeds in here that I'm gonna have to pick out eventually. Just kind of waiting to make sure they are weeds. Like I know these ones are. But uh, I know there's a bunch of nice plants in here I don't want to kill, so I kind of want them to like this one. I almost pulled that one out. So I'm just letting them establish a little bit more. I miss. Uh, you'd think it was a garden, and it kind of is, but it's all really filled in now. <laughs> Between the forsythia and the lilacs, and there's a, um, a flowering almond in there. That's obviously all done already. But yeah, so this is my <sighs> smells so good section because of the uh, the white lilacs. Man, they smell so good. 